Do you want to get the most out of using your Galaxy Watch 5? In today's video, I'm going to be giving you my best tips and tricks, as well as showing you some of the hidden features so you can get the most out of using your Galaxy Watch up next. All right, so let's jump into all the cool things you can do with your Galaxy Watch 5, starting with this. When you go into the watch itself, it's got this bezel that goes around the edge, and as you move your finger, it takes you to different areas on the watch. Did you know that you can edit these tiles? You can also just swipe left or right with them. If you take your finger and you just long press down on the screen, this takes you into the editing area for the tiles. So you long press down and you'll see here that you've got little minus signs. So if there's any of these tiles you wanna get rid of, you can just tap the minus and that takes it out of the list of tiles that you have. You can also scroll to the very end of all your tiles and hit the plus button to add more tiles. This gives you all the different options you have as far as cool tiles to add. If you wanna add one, like seeing your heart rate, you would just go ahead and tap it and now that adds it to your list of all the different tiles you have if you long hold down on that particular tile that then gives you the options here where you can drag it around to wherever you want so if you want it right up front as being the first tile you're going to see you would just drag it all the way to the front let it go and then when you go ahead and hit your upper right button now when i go into my tiles Measuring my heart rate is the first tile available. Did you know that if you swipe up, you have access to all your different apps installed on your watch, but if you just long press down on any one of the apps, you can drag it around and put it in any order you want. If it's an app you like to use a lot, you might wanna drag it all the way to the top, such as my weather. Uh, the other thing is by long pressing on any of these, you can actually uninstall that app if you don't want it anymore. Now you might not know this, but any apps that you may have selected uh, at one time or another are still running on your watch unless you close them. Under your apps, you do have this one icon here that has the two circles on it. And if you go ahead and tap on that, that actually brings you into your dashboard for all your apps. And you can see here that I've got all these different apps running. Uh, I can just swipe up to dismiss that app, to quit out of that app. And the more apps you have running, the more this also eats away at your battery power. So if I did want to just close all these apps at once, down at the bottom it says close all, I can just tap on that and now, boom, it's gotten out of all the apps that were currently running on my watch saving me some battery life. And real quick, a big shout out to Corey Creamer, one of our latest viewers to find Tinker in one of our recent videos. Tinker is our little hidden robot that pops up in all the videos on this channel and he is also gonna pop up sometime during this video. He looks just like this guy on my shirt and be on the lookout for finding Tinker. If you're the first person to spot him, take note of the timestamp, that is the amount of time into this video that he pops up. Let me know that timestamp down in the comments section below. And if you're the first person with the correct timestamp comment, I'm gonna give you a shout out in a future video, as well as put your name on our Tinker Forward Hall of Fame page. So keep an eye out for Tinker. Now speaking of battery life, you can also put your watch into power saving mode, which helps extend the life of your battery. You just swipe down to go into quick settings and swipe over until you see the little battery icon, which is right here with the recycle logo on it you can turn that on or off by just tapping it and you'll see it goes into power saving mode or if you just hold down on it with your finger that actually launches you into the power saving menu you can see how many days left of battery you have as well as all the different features that it turns off when you turn the power saving unit on the other thing that's cool is if you want your watch to run up to 21 days uh, at a full battery charge, you can actually go to this watch only button. And when you tap on that, this is gonna take away all the smart features of the watch and just give you the time clock. I'll show you here. So you're gonna get a display like this, but if you're gonna be out and about and you're not using all the smart features, you just wanna temporarily use your watch and see the time, you can just turn it into watch only mode, extending the life of the battery. To bring back all the smart features, just hold in this upper right button and that's gonna restart your watch. Also, in taking a look at your shortcuts uh, from your quick settings here, if you want to rearrange any of these, like say this flashlight, I would really like to have that up front. 
You can actually just go to the very end of your list and tap on the plus icon. This is an area where you can also remove by hitting the minus button any of these uh, shortcuts. Or if you want to move them around, like say this flashlight, I'm going to tap, long tap on that and drag it to the first menu and then I can put it right there. Uh, and that's editing the locations of the shortcuts. I can then press my button on the right and then go back to my shortcuts and you'll now see that my flashlight is on the first page of my quick shortcuts. I can just tap on that to activate it. I also want to let you know I've done a whole other video on ways to save battery and extend the life of your watch. You can check out that other video down in this video description below or it'll be linked in the cards. Wouldn't it be cool if you could use your Galaxy Watch hands-free? Wait a minute, there is using gestures. You just have to turn on the settings in settings and you can do this quickly by swiping down from the top and then going to the gear icon under settings you want to look for advanced features under advanced features uh, you can then go to gestures and do things like answer calls so by turning this on if i just move my wrist up and down shaking my arm twice uh, bending at the elbow, I can answer calls coming in on my watch. Something else here you have is dismiss alerts and calls. I can go ahead and tap on that. And by turning that on, I can rotate my wrist twice to decline incoming calls or dismiss alerts such as alarms, timers, and reminders. And then we have quick launch. And you can turn on quick launch and quick launch within the first five seconds after the screen turns on, make a fist and then bend your wrist down and then up again. So this is going to launch into a certain app you select or feature. So did you know that your watch can also track your snoring? Uh, Samsung Health is the app that tracks your fitness as well as your health stats. And if you go into Samsung Health, you'll be able to see things like your daily activity steps and view exercise uh, history. But if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you can actually go into settings. And settings is cool because you can change things like how often you want it to monitor your heart rate or stress, or if you want it to monitor your blood oxygen level during sleep. But also under here is the snore detection. And if you tap on snore detection, from this point, it'll have us continue on our phone. And then on your phone, you can choose if this is something you always want uh, or if it's just something you wanna do one time. And you can have it record audio and then have it even delete that audio after a certain amount of days. And essentially you can wear your watch to bed, make sure that you have your phone near you, such as on a nightstand with the bottom of the phone pointed towards you, and it will detect your snoring as well as record it. If you're enjoying this video, maybe you're learning something or you're getting some value, take a quick second right now, smash that like button. It helps out this video as well as this channel. And if you have any tips or tricks that I've missed, help others out and let them know down in the comments section below. I love reading your comments and I learn something from you guys every day. So I previously showed you how you can start an exercise. Now you can also turn on auto detection from the watch. So it'll automatically start your workout if it detects movement. You can do this by going into the Samsung Health app, scrolling down until you get to settings and then under settings, under all the heart rate, blood oxygen, uh, you can see here the auto detect workouts. You can turn this on or off and it will detect walking, running, and more. If you actually tap on all of those exercises, you can get very specific and turn on and off which activities you'd like the watch specifically to detect. So another really useful feature is the Samsung Voice Recorder app that you can download. And when you've downloaded it, it allows you to use the microphone in the watch to record memos or presentations. Uh, and then you can actually use the speech to text option to convert up to 10 minutes of speech into text, which is really cool. Something else that's neat is depending on the watch face that you are using, you can use the complications on it and update them so that you can have a hot button to whatever feature or app you want. And then in this instance, I've got mine set to this voice recorder. Now this particular watch face that I've got installed right now is the Info Brick watch face. And to change your watch faces, you can just long press down on the screen, go all the way over to add watch face. And then in this instance, you would search for it in the, uh, Google Play Store that particular watch face. You would go ahead and install the watch face and then once you have it installed, 
go ahead and tap on customize. Now from customize, you can actually scroll through right now, it's under clock font, but if I keep going color, eventually I will get to complication. I can tap on one of those areas such as this microphone and change it to whatever I'm looking for. In this case, I have voice recorder selected, but I can select from just about any app that I have on my particular watch. What's really convenient is when I've got this all set, right from my main screen, if I wanna start voice recording, I can just tap on that microphone, go ahead and hit record, and I've got a quick and easy voice recorder. And don't forget to pick up some eggs, milk, and of course, some Sour Patch Kids for my wife on the way home. Did you know that you can use your watch as a remote for your phone for snapping pictures as well as for recording videos? I love using this as a YouTuber. Uh, you can actually download the app, which is the uh, camera app, and go ahead and install it. And then from that point, once you pull it up, it's going to connect to your phone. So you can see here, I've got the uh, camera app pulled up on my phone and I've got the camera remote app set up on my watch. And from this point, I can take a picture remotely by just touching my watch. I can have it where it has a timer countdown or I can go into the menus here and not have any countdown to just take an instant snapshot. Now, in addition to that, I can also switch modes here to video and then use my particular watch to uh, start and stop the video as well as control the zoom for the video all remotely from my watch. Let's go ahead and start that up as well as I can stop it. Did you know that you can switch the layout of your watch? So even though the buttons end up being on the right side, if you want them to be on the left side because it's more convenient or if you're bumping into them, there's a way you can set that up. I'm gonna show you how. You can do this quickly and easily by just pulling down from the top of the screen, going into settings and then going to general. Under general, you wanna scroll down until you get to orientation. Here under orientation, uh, you can not only change what wrist you want the watch on, but here is where you can change the key position. So right now it's set to right. My buttons are over here. I'm gonna set it to left. And now that flips things around, I can just go ahead and switch my watch. Let's go ahead and turn this around. And if you prefer to have the buttons on the left side of your watch, I still have all of my main controls like my tiles, but now I can use the upper left button as the same as the upper right button with the watch orientation flipped. There are tons of helpful apps to get you more done using your watch, including games to have fun, puzzles, and more. I've done a whole series of best app videos. You're gonna wanna check out to get the most out of using your watch. Those will be linked in the cards as well as down below. Are you somebody like me that is constantly unsure of where they last left their phone? There's a feature of your Galaxy Watch that allows you to easily find your phone. Check this out. If you've got it connected to your watch, you can swipe down into your quick settings and you do have an icon here with the little uh, magnifying glass to find your phone. Go ahead and tap that and it's going to start chiming your phone so that you can go find it wherever it might have been lost. Now, in addition to that, opposite, if you uh, take your watch off and you're never quite sure where it is, so inside the Galaxy wearable app right on the dashboard here, as long as it's connected to your watch, you'll have a find my watch selection. You can go ahead and tap on that. It's got a little start button. And if I go ahead and tap on start and then go to my watch, it's going to have my watch make a noise until I happen to find it. Something handy to know when you are charging your Galaxy watch is when you put it on the charging puck, uh, this only works when it's charging. You can actually turn it sideways. So if you go ahead and clasp the wristband, set it down on your desk or table, and then go ahead and turn on the clock, it's gonna turn the interface sideways and now you can actually set it up as a uh, table or a desk clock. You can take a screenshot of anything that's on your Galaxy Watch 5 screen by just quick pressing both this top and bottom button on the right side, just pushing them in. You'll notice that the shot just kind of goes up on the top of the screen. What's awesome is you can take that shot and pull it up on your phone. I can then go onto my phone's camera and go to my photo library. Under my photo library, I can then see any screenshots I've taken today. So your watch can also detect if you have a fall as well as you can set up an SOS uh, with a quick series of presses of a button 
all uh, so that the watch will contact any emergency contacts you set up. You can easily set this up in your watch by swiping down, going to the gear icon in settings and finding safety and emergency. Under safety and emergency, this is where you can turn on the SOS with the home key. That's essentially where you would tap this key three or four times really quickly and that's going to activate an SOS where it's going to send out a distress uh, emergency situation uh, like a, a text message or even a phone call to whoever you selected in your emergency contacts. Now the same thing if you turn on hard fall detection, if your wristwatch detects a fall, it's also going to do the same thing. Now with both of these, you also have the option to turn on a countdown to back out of that notification so that if you happen to have a hard fall and uh, it starts a countdown, you'll have 60 seconds to cancel that emergency contact uh, message before it goes out. So you can also set your watch up so it reads you notifications. And if you go to your settings, you'll scroll down to notifications. Under notifications, you can manage your different app notifications, but you want to go down to advanced settings. And under advanced settings, right here, you've got the read notifications allowed. So this would only be done when headphones are connected. But if you're somebody like me that likes going for runs or walks and you don't want to miss any of those notifications, you want them read out loud so you don't have to look down at your watch, you can activate that setting. So also under settings, uh, you can go to sounds and vibrations. And uh, when you are getting a notification or something like that, if you happen to be missing those notifications, you can change the vibration setting so that it can be long as well as a very strong vibration and that's going to at least give you a little bit more of an indicator if you're getting notifications versus if it's just short and light but if you do those things just know that this will also eat away at the battery a little bit more on your watch now also under vibrations if you scroll down until you see system sounds what's kind of cool is you can actually turn on the uh, ticking and it's very quiet, very subtle, but you'll now hear a ticking sound if your watch face is one of those analog watch faces that has the hands ticking, like the second hand. You'll actually hear a real slight ticking on your watch. Now for some people, they might like that, others maybe not. Something else, if you really wanna keep track of what time it is, you can have it do an hourly chime and on the hour, your watch will make a chime sound. And you can also see where you're going if you get into a jam and you're getting lost, you have a compass app that is on your watch. You can go into that and this is cool because it turns your watch into a compass. Now a lot of people don't realize this, but in addition to the compass, you can swipe up and this is going to give you more information as well as uh, the incline. And you can actually turn on your location and it's going to show your altitude. So I'm interested to know which one of these tips and tricks was your favorite. Let me know down in the comments section below. And if you are enjoying all these tips and tricks, be sure to check out the playlist I've done of other cool apps for your Galaxy Watch. I go more in depth in some of my videos talking to you about my top 18 things that you should know and do first with your Galaxy Watch, even ways you can save more battery life and get more use out of your Galaxy uh, Watch. You want to check out those videos. They're going to be linked down in this video description or there will be a playlist popping up at the end of this video. My name is Jeff and as always, I appreciate you watching. Be sure to make every day awesome and I'll see you in the next video.